Hi all, welcome to Quota Fiction. With this video, we are starting our complete JavaScript beginners tutorial. Now, some of you might be thinking this is another typical YouTube JavaScript tutorial, but it's not. We can discuss that in a bit. Nowadays, JavaScript is an inevitable language for almost every programmer. It is the most popular language as per the last year Stack Overflow Insights. Apart from that, nowadays to work with popular frameworks or technologies like ReactJS, Angular, Node, Vue.js, etc. You need JavaScript to work in these technologies. So this is the right time for learning JavaScript. Since you are watching this tutorial already, I know you are determined in learning JavaScript. Don't worry, we got you covered, you came to the right place. We will be discussing everything from scratch assuming that you are a newbie in JavaScript or learning a programming language for the first time. If you already know JavaScript but you are a little doubtful that there might be some topics that you have left unexplored or you want to update your JavaScript skills with latest syntax and features, then I'll tell you, just hang in there till the end of this course. I am sure all of you will thoroughly enjoy this and our JavaScript too. Videos are marked up to upload one video per day. So please be subscribed to this channel and click on the bell icon to get notified when I upload new JavaScript videos. Now, what makes this course different from others and how you can benefit from this course? Apart from in-depth topic explanation along with real-world examples, here in this tutorial we will talk about latest JavaScript syntax and features. This tutorial is question driven. In order to have a better confidence in any topic you learn, you have to find answers for your questions or doubts. Your question must be important for you independent of how relevant or how stupid it is. Some of you might have already gone through many JavaScript courses, still deep inside your mind you might have the feeling that some topics are not well understood or not connected to each other because of few unanswered questions. So in this tutorial, I have prepared topics to answer common questions that you might have while learning JavaScript. If you have any other questions, let me know in comment section below along with the hashtag JSQuestion so that I can easily find when a new question is asked. Apart from YouTube comments, you can ask your questions in our Discord community. Link is given in video description and inside the first comment of this video. Above all, try to google them first. Finally, we have a mini JavaScript documentation. Many of us doesn't take notes for programming languages because common note taking systems like Evernote, Notion, OneNote, etc. are not enough for programming languages. Because we programmers need a running environment for code samples, which is not fully supported or satisfied in our current note taking systems. So I created a JavaScript documentation in JavaScript itself which is not a fully elaborated documentation but it is much concise and direct to the point for quick reference or revision after going through these tutorials here. It will be really handy for beginners for quick reference and for experienced developers it will be helpful to refresh or revise their JavaScript knowledge. I'll be explaining later how it works, how you can benefit from this mini documentation while writing our first JavaScript program. I have given this documentation project github repository link in video description and inside the first comment. From there, you can download this project. Initially, only basics will be the rest of the topics will be updated once we upload corresponding video tutorials here. Now, let's talk about this JavaScript course structure. Obviously, we will be starting from scratch with basics or fundamentals of JavaScript. It includes variables, data type, operators, control flow statements, loop iteration, function, etc. Not only in JavaScript, basics are the most important thing in anything you learn. Everything after that is built upon fundamentals. And let me tell you this. I also learn many programming languages on my own like you are doing here. I can assure you that you're gonna enjoy it once you become more patient and curious throughout this learning process. If something doesn't work for the first time, don't worry, it happens for everyone. Don't lose your motivation, take your time, seek help from others as I mentioned above. Okay? Now after basics, we have DOM. Well, we will be applying JavaScript basics that we have learned into a website with HTML and CSS to make the website user interactive. Then after that we will be discussing object, 
plus object oriented programming concept in JavaScript. Collection of data will be discussed within the section array. And then we'll be handling HTTP request and async operation to an outside web application or API. And much more with practical examples or projects. As we go forward, we'll be adding more and more topics into this course. For this course, I would say no prerequisite required. You can learn JavaScript as your first programming language, but basic knowledge in HTML and CSS would be better. If not, don't worry, we can also discuss them in brief when it is required. Now, that's all for this video. In next session, we'll be discussing what is JavaScript, why you should learn JavaScript, etc. To watch rest of the videos in this series, I have given the playlist link in video description and inside the first comment of this video. Lots of awesome videos like this are coming, so please be subscribed to this channel Code Affection and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload new videos like this. Please share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can also benefit from this. See you in next section.